Visit FickleHobbyist.com to download our free SVG cut files to make this project yourself. Start by opening a new project in Cricut Design Space and upload each of the individual files into your project. You can drop and drag them as I have here, or you may choose to browse and select them that way. Once you have them in your library, you're going to select each of those and input them into your design. So the card front that I will be using is four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm going to start by selecting the square and unlocking the proportions to enter that four and a quarter and five and a half. Once I have it to the desired size and proportion, I'm going to lock it one more time and downsize it just by one notch. I wanna have a little bit of a border when I put this onto the card front. Select both the happy and the rectangle and then go to align horizontally center and align center vertically. Also with both of them selected, you will now select slice. What that's gonna do is cut out the word happy out of that rectangle we created. You're gonna delete each of those layers that have the happy in them and you'll see that we're left with the cutout. Size the Mother's Day how you like it and click make it. You can see that each of them has their own cut and this is perfect because for the happy file, being that it is so intricate, we want to select a different material here. I have it starred, but if you have never searched for it before, browse all materials and search washi. Select washi sheet, and for the pressure, choose the highest setting right here. It likely will not cut through the first time. So what I want you to do is, when it's done, before you eject it, push the Cricut button one more time and it should cut one more time for you. Once it's done, do not eject it and just lift it up a little bit to see if it has cut through all the way because if it hasn't, you can run it one more time. But if it has, like it has here, go ahead and eject it. Again, because this is such an intricate cut, you have to be very careful when you remove it from the mat. Flip your mat upside down, and I like to use my scraper tool here to lift each piece as opposed to pulling so that you don't risk losing any of those little tiny cuts of the H or the P. And here you'll see we have a perfectly cut out card front. I love these glue bottles and I'll link them in the description below. They give you a lot of control when you are dealing with these really teeny tiny cuts. So I just go through and on the Y and the H, there's these really tiny, tiny um, pieces that I just dabbed a teeny tiny bit on. And it, like I said, gives me a lot of control, but also make sure you get glue on those pieces so they don't catch. So center it and then if any of your little pieces need to be moved before you secure it, do that with your tool here. Gorgeous, right? And again, using that fine tip glue bottle, you're going to adhere the letters to the offset piece. I like to use tweezers to lift it up and I actually like to lay one letter down at a time so that it's perfectly centered before I, I move on to the next. Sometimes you can wiggle them around to get them just right. So here I have some foam tape. Again, I'll link this in the description below. It's gonna pop it up off the background and give us some nice dimension. Just take every little piece off. It's a little bit tedious, but the result is beautiful at the end. Center it wherever you like it and secure it with a flat palm. And there you go. Your paper choice is going to give you a completely different look for this card. So have fun and play around with it. I'd love to see what you make. Tag me on Facebook, TikTok, or Instagram.